There is a Flinter Bow in the Hunter Classic, and you could win it. Just look at this thing. I absolutely love how this turned out, and I do want to give a huge shout out to Pablo the Designer right away. I love what this looks like. If you look at the Whisker Biscuit there, it's got the logo on it. There's also a logo on the riser, which at the moment appears to be upside down, but I do have a photo of what it should look like right side up, and I've already asked. I believe that's going to be fixed. So the beginner guides that came out a couple of weeks ago, the timing of those was no coincidence. I wanted to get those out so that when this bow was revealed, and if you guys wanted to participate in the competition and try to win it, the information would be out there on the channel on how to succeed in the Hunter Classic. So that competition does not start until August 14th. You've got time to get into the game, learn it, and hopefully master the ways of the Hunter Classic to participate in that comp. I won't reveal yet what the competition is, but I will say everyone should be able to participate in it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes. This bow as the grand prize, I think is so, so cool. So we're gonna take it for a little hunt here on Logger's Point and kinda see what we can do. Now, I've resisted firing it. This is essentially a reskinned Parker Python, so it should operate just like the Parker. That meaning, the top pin is gonna be for 20 yards, and that is the only way this could've started. I was genuinely a little bit nervous that we could end up with a non-drop shot as our first, and that would set a bad tone, but drop this guy in his tracks. I was curious, so I did multiplayer, just to see what would show up in the chat. It shows like the regular Parker Python, but I'm sure when we claim this, in the top left, we're going to see one Parker Python Flinter Harvest. Look at the logo, too. There's a little Flinter icon by it. I'll, I'll zoom in on that or maybe get a an image from the launcher. I love that they actually have, you know, specific logos. So there are a bunch of creator weapons. They're visible in the store right now. So if you want to go and see what the potential grand prizes are for all of the creator competitions that are running alongside the Summer Fiesta event, you can see those in the store and what they look like. Also, they will be available for purchase in the store after the event's over, so if you're worried about not being able to win the competition but really want to get your hands on these things, they will be available for purchase, and I'm thinking we're going to do a little giveaway for some of these later on when they are available for purchase. Now, from what I can tell, the Summer Fiesta runs until August 22nd, so probably the end of the month somewhere there will be when we do the giveaways, and no doubt they'll be done over in the Discord, so if you want to join that, the link is in the description below. Now, one thing about this particular hunt is I went ahead and started it at 8 a.m., mostly so we'd have decent lighting for showing the bow off, and also, should we take a trophy shot, I wanted the lighting to be decent. However, starting a hunt this late, it definitely could be the case that that second buck that grunted actually has just gone over there and bedded down, so we're going to give him a little more time, but... I'm guessing we might actually have to go find him. So finally, our buck's on his way in. Turns out he was just taking his time. But once he's going to crest that hill, we'll go ahead and try to take him out. And I'm hoping to maybe get into whitetail territory. The further north we get, at least from here, the more we should start to see whitetail. So let's see if we can go three for three with the Flint version of the Parker. That's going to be a long shot, I think. But that one didn't drop him in his tracks. And by the way, I'm... Sure, some of you are thinking, why would I choose the Parker over the Snakebite? And the reason is, I think because the Snakebite model is so old, it would have been tough to work with. So that actually wasn't an option. And, you know, for me, the Parker Python was my first compound bow that I purchased and one of my absolute favorite weapons in the game, probably my favorite bow of all time. So I really think it ended up being a great choice. But let's actually see what happened as far as that shot. That is long blood, so he won't be too far away. But now, two bucks down with our flinter themed Parker Python. This one was left lung and intestine, so really close. Had we clipped the liver instead, that would have dropped him 123.5 score. And we're going to continue working our way to the north here and hopefully get into a couple of whitetail bucks. And by the way, I did check as well. The range finding site can be fitted to this bow. It's probably to be expected, but I thought we should at least check. And that might be somewhat important with this doe getting quite close. We have a whitetail buck coming in. And let's kind of see. We're looking at right about 30 meters now. Maybe we'll try to get that shot as he's walking up to that point. That's going to drop him. And the doe actually didn't spook. The Parker is nowhere near as silent as the snake bite. But not bad. And we have 
another way better buck coming in. That is going to be 145 to 170. That'll work. Good thing we dropped that one. Really going to need to make use of just having a bow in general today. We have a white tail doe sneaking in on this side. And that definitely could spook our buck as well. So let's try to make sure we get this shot lined up correctly. Going to drop her in her tracks. I don't even think... Ah, maybe he heard that. But it didn't spook him, so... Definitely things are coming in in a good, like, kind of distance so that we're not spooking everything else, but hopefully now we can just bring him in and take him out. I think whenever he stops, we should be good to go. He's got all kinds of character, at least three stickers, maybe four. And he's into almost 20. I'm hoping he will just stop before he gets too close, because we can't let him get underneath the tower. Let's go ahead and get to full draw. I think we can make the shot regardless. Gonna stop there. Gonna try to not shoot him right through the head. Just for the trophy shot so it's not got an arrow sticking out of his dome. But that will drop him. And we just killed four deer from the tower here. Not a bad deal. And one pretty decent buck gonna be worthy of our first trophy shot with the new bow. This guy with those stickers probably gonna lose some score. Ends up being a 151. That's, I would say, easily a 160 frame. But all those stickers kinda cost him a little bit of the time. There are... Oh my goodness, seven or six, I think it is, three on each side. That definitely knocked that score down quite a bit, but let's see what we can do for a trophy shot. And I wanted to, just for this one, kind of show off the bow a little bit more. We can actually see the Whisker Biscuit there with the logo in the center. And I, I do want to clarify as well, that actually was not like my design choice. That was all Pablo, the designer for the Hunter Classic. Again, I'm so pleased with what he came up with. It's a hundred times better than the design that I had submitted. Got another doe sneaking in there. Maybe we'll go ahead and get that. And I want to fast travel north and just take one more stab at getting a decent mule deer buck. But this was our first one that we shot at 30-ish meters, 30 on the dot. Lung liver stomach there, another 123 score. Let's see if we can get this doe down as well. And already she's into just about 20 meters. I was going to maybe try to use the rangefinder sight and go for a bit longer shot, but 20 meter pin is going to be. That'll drop her. And we've all of a sudden killed a ton of white-tailed deer here. Definitely cannot complain. I really hope we can find at least a better mule deer buck than the two that we shot already. But when we get a 150s white-tail that I'm going to guess had a subtotal well above 160, Definitely not a bad deal, and we got a bunch of bonus whitetail to boot. And I looked on the walk over here, that buck was 163 subtotal, had 12 inches of deduction. Definitely uh, fitting, I would say, for our first trophy with the Flinter Bow. But let's jump up north, see if we can get one decent mule deer buck, and then I think we'll wrap this hunt up. Also, I meant to mention this while recording and just completely forgot about it with all the excitement of finally getting our hands on the new bow, so I'm just sticking this in here after the fact, but there's going to be an extra classic video this week for those of you that watch the classic content and may be looking for more. I actually recorded a video doing some of the Summer Fiesta missions. That was meant to be the video today, and then I got the message that we could actually show the bow off today and take it for a hunt and all that good stuff, and I wanted to do that. So. Right after the Friday live stream, 3 p.m. Eastern, there'll be another classic video doing some of the Summer Fiesta missions. Just wanted to make that clear, since we don't normally upload on Fridays. Well, this one may need to be a bit of a surprise, because he was hiding behind that hill. He is going to spook really soon. <laughs> but we got that shot off, and he is a little bit better than the other one. Now, was that a whole group of bucks? Or a random solo? That one was way smaller, so I'm glad the one we got came in first. I think two solo bucks just came in at the same time. As for this guy, probably a 140s, it's a pretty narrow set rack. Double lung, 148 still is not bad, and especially because we got a decent whitetail, albeit only a 151 because of deductions. I think that's gonna do it for this hunt. I just wanted to kind of showcase the bow a little bit, get to make it clear that it'll be the grand prize for the competition running on August 14th, and also that it'll be available in the store after the event, and we're going to do some giveaways after that. But really excited to see the Hunter Classic taking this route with the creator competitions and creator weapons. It's an absolute honor to be a part of it, and I'm really, really stoked and honored to have this bow in Hunter Classic. So very much looking forward to that competition in a couple of weeks. And on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, 
and I'll see you next time.